So I've been going on about how uh, how much I'm liking Fever as a new feed reader. Uh, I switched from Google Reader to Fever uh, a few days ago now, I guess it is, and uh, it's got some really neat things. It's got, by default, the front page is called Hot. It's this hot page, and you can set it to show, basically it mines the activity in all your posts. So what it does, I've got all these folders of posts, and it'll go through and look at every item in every feed that I subscribe to and pull out links. So what what are what's everything linking to? And then over on this side, it will actually uh, group the links and sort by activity. It uses a, a, a fever metaphor. In this case, uh, it's using 38.4 as the hottest temperature. So it's you know, supposed to be uh, somebody's got a fever if they've got that. So it, as things get more links, they get hotter and, and pushed to the top. If something had, in this case, the uh, Chinese uh, factory worker death story has three links it's the hottest one right now it's at 38.4 degrees if something had four links it would be hotter it might be 39 degrees and it would actually be listed above that so i can see at a glance what are the things that are linked the most i've got the chinese story i've got interrogating media i've got uh, uh down here to the uh, the amazon letter so on hopefully nothing too embarrassing in here so it gives you a really good way at a glance to, to see the um the activity now what's interesting is Fever has two different concepts of feeds. It's got one, sort of the, the traditional one, is called kindling. So you subscribe to a feed, you uh, and, and you read the items that are in it, and that's what it's for. But it's also got the second concept called sparks. And sparks are things that you subscribe to specifically for the... Um, uh, for those link data. So I've got a bunch of Flickr feeds in here. I've got uh, Dig Stories. I've got uh, what Reddit, Twitter, a bunch of delicious stuff in here. And so I can see anytime somebody in my network adds a delicious link, that link is thrown in here and that populates the hot section of it. Um, the other thing I do, because um, these are like feeds that you don't want to pay attention to too much. So I've got things like the Flickr interesting photos in here, I don't want to be reading every or seeing every single one of these, but it, they're in here. And when I want to look at uh, uh, interesting photos on Flickr, I've, I've got it. If somebody links to to any of these, they show up on the hot uh, as well. So it's an interesting way to sort of mine attention and relevance, that kind of stuff. So that that hot section is very very interesting. Um, overall, I'm I'm really loving uh, Fever. It's it's a web app that you buy. It's like thirty bucks, I think, and you install it on your own server. A lot of it behaves about the same as Google Google Reader. Uh, you've got mobile interface, you've got you know, all this stuff, but I don't feel like I'm feeding the beast anymore. I'm running this on my own server. Um, it performs really well. It's a really n nice interface, and it works exactly the way I think I need it to work. The bonus was this hot concept, which is kind of like a game-changing thing for me. Anyways, that's a quick demo of what the hot section is. It's pretty cool.